at the top of the page, I'm just going to read what it says. Uh, an exponential equation <laughs> appears as an expression. So last class, we dealt with the x as the base. If you take a look at 1 and 2, it's more than If two expressions are equal to each other, that means they have the same base and the same exponent. So that's if you want to underline it. So an example would be like x squared is equal to x squared, algebraically. They have the same base, same exponent. Make sense? Numerically, say 5 to the third equals um, 5 to the third. Mm -hmm. So you have two, two expressions that have an exponential relative to the equal, the base must be the same and the exponent must be the same. So if they have the same base, it is easier to solve for x. Okay. If the base is the same and the expressions are equal, what must be true about the exponents? They must be equal. So that's why step number one is to set the exponents equal to each other. So 2 minus x equals 8. So pass the 2 from both sides and you get what on the right? 6. 8 minus the 2. Then divide by the negative 1. And x is negative 6. So skipping some of the work in showing the inverse operations. In showing the steps, the first thing I did was subtract 2. Gave me the 6. And then in this step, I divided by the negative oh, wait, no, 1. No, no, no. So to check, we do substitute into the original equation. So it's 5 to the 2 minus a negative 6. And you need to play simplify. So as he was saying, he's like, I can make 2 from negative 6 because 2 minus negative 6 is 8. And 5 to the 8th equals 5 to the 8th. You don't have to give me the number for that. The next one, uh, the bases are the same, so we set the exponents equal to, but it's going to be a, quadra a quadratic. <coughs> so this is going to be a review of some of the equations that we've solved this year. With a quadratic equation, you want to set equal to... 0, so let's subtract the 3x. You want to leave the x squared positive. So x squared minus 3x plus 2 equals 0. And you can factor it. Factors of a positive 2 that combine to a negative 3. So negative times negative multiplies to a positive, adds to a negative, and 2 is prime. So the only factors are 2 and 1. So that means x equals 2 for this factor and 1 for that factor. So to check, we have two checks. So is 2 to the 2 squared plus 2 equal 2 to the 3 times 2? What is this one? This one is? 2 plus 2? 6. So this is 2 to the 6 equals 2, 3 to the 2. It checks. You can simplify it all the way to a number. So you'll see in my answer key sometimes, sometimes I don't. X equals 1, so is 2 to the 1 squared plus 2 equal to 2 to the 3 times 1. 1 squared is 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. And then 2 to 3 times 1 is 3. It checks. So now the exponential equations with different bases, step number one is to rewrite it so that they have the same base. And then we do exactly what we did above. So that could be an issue for some of you. So you want to have your root cards if possible. And we'll take the time on the board to write all your powers. But for right now, um, 125. So you're going to write that with a base of 5. If I want to write them with the same base, I want to see if I can make the larger one have the same base as the smaller to start. So can you rewrite 125 with a base of 5? 5 cubed, yep. So this is 5 cubed, so I'm going to rewrite the 5 cubed and I have 5 to the x minus 1. Now that they have the same base, I can set the exponent equal. Add the 1 and x is 4. 
So to check, let's, uh, we've got 5 to the 4 minus 1, is that equal 125? Um, this is 5 cubed, and 5 cubed is 125. Let's make a note right here because this goes along with the next one. What's any number raised to the zero power? One. So in this question here, whenever you see a one, you can always rewrite it as that base by writing it to the one power. Zero. So anytime you see a one, look at the base on the other side and then write this expression with the same base to the zero power. So 3 to the 0 equals 3 to the x minus 3. Now that the bases are the same, I said x minus 3 equal to 0. Add the 3 over, and x equals 3. So to check, is 3 to the 3 minus 3 equal 1? This is 3 to the 0, and 3 to the 0 is 1. Okay, in number 5, we want to write 927 the same base, and that base is 3. So this is really, I'm going to replace the 9 with 3 squared, keep the x, and the 27 with 3 cubed. Power to power rule. The 3 squared to the x is really 3 to the what power? What do you do with the exponents when you have power to power? Multiply them. So it's going to be 3 to the 2x equals 3 cubed. I didn't have any power to power on the right side, just on the left side. So now I can set 2x equals 3, divide by 2, and x is 3 halves. To check, is 9 to the 3 halves, is that equal 27? Well, this is really the cube root or square root. Square root of 9 cubed. Square root of 9 is 3, and is 3 cubed 27? Yes. 6. We have 3 and 1 ninth. Those both can be written as a base. 3 is correct, because 9 is actually 3 squared, right? So this side, I'm going to get rid of that 3 squared since we all know that. So here's 3 to the 2 minus x. I'm going to replace this 1 ninth to 3 positive 2 or negative 2 if it's 1 ninth? Negative. negative 2 to the, is that a 2 right here? So I just replaced the 1 ninth with 3 to the negative 2, and then we have 3 to the 2 minus x equals 3 to the multiply negative 4. Set the exponents equal. 2 minus x equals negative 4. Subtract the 2 and you get negative 6. Divide by negative 1 and x equals 6. So when I check that is 3 to the 2 minus 6 equal to 1 over 9 squared. Let's simplify the right side. What's 1 ninth times 1 ninth? 1 over 81. And is 3 to the negative 4, when you subtract, you get a negative 4, is 3 to the negative 4th power 1 over 81. This is 1 over 3 to the 4th. Are they equal? Yep. Yes. So 1 over 81 equals 1 over 81. Last one. So we took a minute on the sideboard. We wrote all the powers for 2, 3, 4, and 5. Look at the sideboard. <coughs> what can I rewrite 4 and 32 with that have the same base? So 4 and 32. You see that in the blue, the red, black, or green? 4 and 32. The blue. 4 is 2 squared, right? And 16 is 2 to the 4th. So those two numbers, because you can't write 32 as 4 to some power. 
You can't do that. You should always check that first, but since you can't, you have to rewrite them both. So 4 is written as 2 squared. Again, keep the 2x. And what do we replace the 32 with? 2 to the 5th. And keep the x minus 1. So multiply the exponents. Do I really need to write 2 to the 4x power? Are you guys okay with me writing 4x equals? Because we know we get rid of the base at this point, right? And set the exponents equal. So 2 times 2x is 4x. And then what's 5 times x and 5 times negative 1? So then subtract 5x. We get negative 1x equals negative 5. Divide by negative 1. And x is 5. So to check, is 4 to the 2 times 5... is 1,048,576. Does that equal 32 to the 5 minus 1, which would be 32 to the 4th power? That matches. So 1048576 equals checks.